Okay, hello guys. Uh, welcome back to this session for unit tests. Uh, so the idea with today is continue uh, reviewing um, a special patterns that maybe we can use uh, through the creation for the unit tests. Uh, mainly, uh, we started uh, seeing uh, what is the builder pattern. So the idea with this, uh, uh, this pattern allows that you can create some instance for ones of those entities and you can fill this entity uh, only for purpose uh, testing. So for example, in this case, we know that we have uh, this entity person. So the idea with this entity is uh, a simple fields that we have, uh, first name, last name, date of birth, and sex. And uh, the pattern that's uh, applied over this uh, entity allows that you can create uh, an entity object uh, for um, these values uh, that you can that you can add. So in this case, uh, we must to create a person builder. So the idea with this uh, this um, class. It's a load that you can, uh, uh, for individual uh, field, you can handle some uh, property or some method that allows um, send um, or set value over that. So in that case, for example, that we have first name, last name, date of birth and sex. Here we have one method for each of them with first name, with last name, with date of birth, uh um with sex and in here you can see that we have a private uh object at the at the type of the class that we want to create in this case this person and we have an um a constructor for the person builder and internally we can use this as the object uh initialization here uh, and especially this uh, entity um, is uh, in iterance over an entity entity base and this including an ID or identifier. So we are adding this uh, property uh, inside. So with this, um, we are assigning uh, the variable uh, as a parameter um, directly to the property in the in the object that we have, and the last uh, object here, um, the, sorry, the last method um, allows that you return the build for this uh, object. Uh, how we can use it? So the idea is that we can create a variable of the type that we want. So in this case, we use a new person builder, and we can add. Um, this method at the same uh, moment that we are that we are using. So, okay, how this things works? Uh, for this case, I will be comes to uh, my um, my solution, and um, I know that this kind of patterns applies always over not all uh, um, this uh, kind of project. I know that could be applied for all that kind of projects, even in not only our unit testing, even can be applied over component testing, integration testing, and over that. But in this case, it will be created a new library. So that means that we can add some other projects that helps to generate objects or generate some special data for the test. So in this case, I will be create a new class library here to allow that kind of operation as permitted. So I will be create a class library and I will be call it here as a, a people app, that's the name, dot unit dot test. Let me change that test. Oh my goodness. Test dot library. So in this case, I will be added here. Um, here I will be put it here over unit unit test. 
So I was just testing yesterday, so let me remove it. Okay, I will be select that folder and I will be created this um, object here. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. I will be here. Test, test, and unit test. Okay, perfect. So in this case, I'm putting here test unit test, and I will be created this test library. So here, this is the same uh, framework, net framework that I'm using. So, okay, perfect. So here, let me delete this class. And I will be create here. Uh, Julio, are you sharing your screen? Because I can't see it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, let me share my screen. I was doing... Can you see my screen right now? Yes. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, I was mentioned that uh, I will be create here over uh, into the unit test. I will be create a new library, call it uh, the same name of the project, dot unit, dot test, dot library. I'm here. I will be create the object that I want to use. For example, I want to create it builders here. So here I will be do it builders. So the idea is, uh, in this case, for example, I only have one um, entity, but if I, if I have many entity here, I, I can create one builder for each of those entities. So in this case, I will be adding a new entity here. It's a new class. So the idea is create a class, call it person builder. Okay. I'm here. This is a public class. Okay. As you see, I'm here. I am creating a new private person. 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 Okay. Um, here. I'm um, sorry. Let me change my keyboard. I'm here, I will be reference the project that's including uh, this, for this case is people domain, that is the entity was, was defined. Okay, so now I will be create a uh, constructor and here in the constructor, I have to use person equals new person, that's it. Um, the idea is that I have to create uh, one method for each of those uh, values that I have here. So in this case, if I can see here, I can see this. And if, if you can see, I have an entity base. And for this one, I have only ID. Okay. So for example, I come here. I know this is an entity ID. Okay. And I can say, okay, I have this one. Okay. So I do it this person builder. Okay. And I can say here with ID. Okay. And at the end, I have integer int. And internally, the idea is that I have to say, okay, this dot person that id equals id and return this. And this is the same entity for person builder, you know? So that is the idea here, okay? Um, regarding with the other objects, the other objects, um, sorry, the other um, fields, okay? I have the other fields here. So and I will be copy that fields to here. Um, for the sites, I have to put in person builder with it is the name. So I can see person builder with first name. So here I have string first name. OK. 
okay? And internally, I have to do the same kind of thing as it, as it is. So let me complete it uh, so quickly here. I don't want to need it, this one. And also, and I have to change here. This uh, first name equals first name, okay? And the same for last name. Okay. This I have a question for you. Yeah, tell me. So what's the difference between using um, <clears throat> the person builder instead of using the setup in a unit test class? Okay, so yeah, you're right. Uh, the uh, the difference uh, with this is that um, for the next pattern that we will come to see, uh, we want we need we will need uh, a different assignations. So for right now, really, that the difference is not is not a real difference. We are only creating. Uh, an, an object that's allowed to do the same thing that's a constructor, for example. But the things uh, could be uh, get more importance when we want to see um, uh, um, an, um, dynamic assignation. So let me complete this, and maybe uh, at the end of this session, you can understand how is this things works. Because in this way, we are not had no difference. We are using the same kind of, of operation, and it is, okay? But when do you want to do this as a uh, um, dynamic way, you don't really need to do this kind of um, many, many other things here. So let me complete this one, but in time, okay. Yep. Okay. 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 Perfect. Uh, last one. Let me delete this. <clears throat> okay. And for the last, the last one is for chart sets. Okay. With. I don't know why my virtual machine is a little slowing. So, so you have to add the uh, system annotations, right? Uh, and I know in this case because uh, it's a it's a real builder, but so, so it, I have system annotations. So you yeah, I have an annotation for the. Yeah, this is required for the entity. You see. For the yes. entity I mentioned before, yeah. We have this kind of annotation only to uh, accomplish with the with the um, rules uh, or definitions of fields that we have to include in over the MVC model. So, okay, let me do this. Okay, perfect, great. And the last uh, method that I have to do here is a public that's return a normal person, and I call it build, there's a parameter, and this return this dot person. Okay, perfect. This is a normal builder pattern, okay? With this pattern, that's really as, yeah, as you mentioned before, there are not so much difference between to do this and to uh, execute uh, something like this, create um, this, uh, this constructor. Um, but how these things work. So the idea with this is that we can use it in this way. So let me, let me show you a little bit. Say bar person equals uh, new person builder, okay, so let me reference the builder here, okay, 
Okay. I have to add in this. Okay, and I say here, okay, with. Okay, I can say, uh, for example, say, uh, with first name. So including the first name, I said I have here, John. So with uh, last name, so including here, though. And also with uh, Dave of Bert, um, I'm using the same thing that I'm doing here. Okay. <clears throat> and then with and um, sex, for example, and I have to say here, okay, male. And at the end, I have to say built. Okay. There are not such much difference here. The only thing that I can say, okay, oh, okay. I'm you doing the same thing. That's that's a normal thing. Okay, and um, I'm expecting that this uh, continue with the same uh, operation. So that's uh, like I mentioned, there are not so much difference with this, okay? But these things apply a little bit more. When do you want to use something like uh, we can see here? The next thing that we want to see is a special thing that maybe we can use to generate dynamic uh, palette. So you can say, okay, I have one, call it out of fixture. This is a tool, a special tool that uh, generates uh, new data over the, uh, the same builder. So the idea with this is that that's a low that you dynamic generate data, as we mentioned in previous session. Uh, with this thing, you can generate uh, some data that you don't really want to add. For example, in this case, we have few fields, but when we want to get many fields uh, and we only want to uh, include in specific fields to do some uh, business logic and the other field, that's not necessary. You can use this kind of feature to uh, allow that operations uh, field, uh, fill that, that fields. Okay. So how these things works. So the idea is we have to use a fixture, call it fixture, new fixture. Okay. And internally, we only have to say, okay, I wanted a new class, for example, of this. Say, okay, fixture dot create and the class. And automatically, this fixture generates one instance for this. And fill all the fields for this class. Okay, and you can uh, to do this kind of operation. In this case, for example, I want to use a private fixture here, initializing for the builder. Okay, and create two new um, tunization here. One is for uh, fixture data. And the second one is for generate a list, you see? So this kind of operation, this uh, allows that you generate dynamically data using the same builder, okay? So in this case, let me show you how we can do this. So um, here, I want to add a new fixture, okay? Say private. Fixture, fixture, oh my goodness. Okay, so here, let me reference that package. This is out of fixture, okay? That fixture is added here at the beginning. And we can use fixture. The only thing that I have to do here is a uh, fixture equals 
new fixture. Okay. I'm here, I'm creating two uh, new methods. Um, both methods has to generate one for person builder, only with fixture data, and the other one is only for generate a list. Okay. So first one is a public person builder. Person builder set fixture data. Okay. And internally, the only thing that I have to do is this dot person equals so fixture fixture dot create an instance of person. Okay, and return, return this. Oh my goodness. Okay, perfect. And the other one is uh, similar to the build. It's a uh, public, and I have to return list of person, person. Okay, so let me install collection generics for this one. Okay, and I return get fixture data list, and I am receiving it here quantity at the name of the value that I want to return, and I add in something like this. Hold on, let me check what is the sentence. Okay, it's a fixture build person create many quantity to list. Okay. <clears throat> so here is return uh, fixture dot build person build person. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, person create many quantity to list. Okay. Dot uh, create many many person. Okay. Here is quantity dot to list. Okay. So let me add a link you here. Perfect. So in this case, how these things works. So for example, this is sex fixture data. So when we want to use sex fixture data, these values are filled. So I say that's set fixture data, for example. And when we do this, um, using, for example, here, okay. And I will be put it these things here, for, for example. I'm um, here, when I run it, this. Okay, let me check what happened. With this sex fixture da data, and these things run, automatically, he's generating information directly over the all fields that you have here, okay? But for example, in this case, I want to change only for sex, okay? So in this case, the builder is taking importance because you can only come here, change the sex, for example, and when weird things run, again, okay? you can change the information that only that things that you need. You see? And the other irrelevant information that's maybe you don't need to complete the logic or the business logic that you have internally, that's not needed. Okay? That makes sense now why we want to use the builders? Yes, I understood now. Great, great, excellent. That. 
This is the thing that if, if you do this, for example, using the fixture data, you can set all the other information and only for the specific fields that you want to validate some specific logic or this specific case, you put that information and the other irrelevant information for this logic that's not necessary, you can fill it, okay? And for the other ones, you can do this, for example, um, here, if I, if I want to need something like this, let me, uh, okay, let me copy this thing first. <clears throat> um, for example, if I want to, uh, generate a list in a dynamic or a dynamic list, only to retrieve information as as it is this case, and you don't you don't need really that yeah, the information must be consistent. You can use the builder. You can say okay, I want to use here a new person builder, and I say okay, I want it here. Get fixture data list. Okay, let me change here this data list. Okay, I'm using data list. Okay, and that's it. You don't need it anymore. And I can say, okay, perfect. I have one quantity. And say, okay, generate three new uh, fields. So in this case, for example, my expected values that I want to receive here has to be the same values quantity for the count. When I do this and I run it, <coughs> the fixture data list generates an specific information for this. You see, I have three records. And each of those records are generated with uh, the, that kind of information. I, and I want to execute it. I'm receiving the same thing, validate it. Everything is looking for. And the quantity are the same thing. And voila. You see, that's it's pretty simple to generate information to test. It's pretty simple generate information with the specific values, and it's pretty simple to execute that kind of of testing. Okay, great. So this is the word. Uh, this is the, the the way that works the builder pod. But what happens if if I want to do more simple my testing? So if I want to do more simple my testing, the idea is try to create a new kind of test, but using instead to pass all the same values all the time and couldn't paste all the same values all the time for every word, is use the mother pattern. What means the mother pattern? So the idea with the mother pattern is it's a factory method, it's a factory class that's allowed that you uh, simplify the creation for a specific um, kind of set of values for that. And you can use this pattern to generate only using what one method and what that kind of method, that assignation by default or basic or as you want to, to call it, you can use it. So in this case, for example, the idea is the model pattern internally use a builder pattern, okay? So the idea with this is try to uh, create an instance for the builder and you can say, okay, for example, my default value, because I'm always using this as a, as a, as a names, that's I want to test. So for example, with this, you say, okay, I can call it person default. 
I'm using a builder. So here I return a new builder with the default values. Okay, I'm say build. And when I want to do with fixture data, I'm using this. Or when I want to do a fixture data list, I'm using this. And in this case, as you see, you only thing to do is generate a new object for each of those things. So how these things works? So the idea is when I do this, I come, I come here and I want to add a new, a new category. In this case, call it motors. Okay. And depends of the entities, as I mentioned before, you have to create each model for each of those entities. So here, I say, okay, I want to use person model, right? It's a public class. I'm here, is special class because must be static class. Okay, because we don't need a constructor. I'm here, I want to use a private read only because I don't need it generated anyway. Um, again, just I, I have to use it. Um, I can show you before this kind of builder, say, is a new builder. Okay, static read only, person builder is a new builder. Okay, public static read only person builder. Okay, let me reference the builders. Say, okay, person builder equal person new person builder. Okay, perfect. So now, because it's in a static class, I don't need a constructor. So I only needed to generate the static method. So I will be at public static. Uh, and now I want to return person, okay? And I say, okay, I want to return a person. Let me reference the main entities. And I say, okay, default, okay? So here I say, okay, return. Let me uh, go back here. I have it here. Okay, I needed this. Okay. So in this case, okay, perfect. The only thing that you need to do here is uh, return a new, <coughs> sorry, a new uh, person builder. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, perfect. Until here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay. Um. For example, in this case, I can say, okay, perfect. As a previous testing that I come to do here. So I can say something like this. Now, instead to use it something like this here, I can use something like this. Person, mother, let me call it person mother dot default. Okay, so in this case, I'm generating a new, I'm sorry, I'm generating a new instance for this one. Okay, as you see, that's that's pretty simple to use. That's nothing to, uh, to add in. Um, for the other one, I can do the same thing. Say, okay, I want to public, uh, static 
static version and say uh, with fixture data. Okay. Um, here I comes here on a let me do it the same thing. Okay. Hang here and say, okay, return, blah, 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 with fixture data. Okay, I'm not at all for this, for example. And put it this thing here. Okay, and that's it. I don't need it any other thing. And the last one, create a public static list of of person. Okay, let me include in collection generic. Say uh, get fix to data list in quantity. Okay, I'm here, I'm using return uh, new person builder. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I, I don't needed this thing because I'm using the builder here. I don't need to do it. Is this, is it is. It's a person builder. Uh, what, what is this, it's here. Yeah, it's person builder. Yeah, because I'm and generated just only once. You see? That's, I was doing run. Here is only need the person builder. Person. Yeah, person builder. Um, that is that it is. Yeah. And here, person builder. Okay. Get feature that the list as quantity. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, let me change here. So, quantity. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. So in this case, to using here, not uh, not using. Um, not using um, builders, I can use here mother. So in this case, I can use person, not a builder. I'm using person, mother, and there is, I'm using the same, okay? But I don't really need it to add in more logic here uh, and in this case is working fine um it's generating at uh, the same uh, value that i'm waiting inspecting as you can see here okay and everything is the same thing that you can you can do here <coughs> and everything is works Okay, questions? No? No. no okay, no. great, perfect. So how these things works also, for example, when do you want to do a specific calls, in this case, for example, for the controller in this uh, method, 
as you can see, you have only column here. And uh, we are uh, generating something like this. Okay, I get it all. But what happened if I want to generate something with a specific thing here? Okay, so I'm expecting that I, I have to return an, uh, a get by ID and I'm passing this ID. Okay, so with this, what, what happened with this? You see? But what happened in this case? Okay, so for this case, I had to add a new testing here. Pretty similar to this. So in this case, let me, let me cut and paste it, this one. Okay. What is the more relevant thing that we can do? For example, here, get by ID, get by ID success, okay? So I'm expecting an arrange, okay? And now I can say, okay, I need a new. So in this case, I say, okay, in my case, I want to person um, builder, and uh, say a person mother. Okay. And um, here uh, I want to the default. That's it all that I want. Okay. So that I want here. Um, the specter result that I'm calling here is when the service is called here for get by ID, the sync, okay, um, what, let me check, that's including you, uh, okay, he's here, when I'm calling here, the controller, the controller are using get by ID as sync. Okay. Get by ID as sync. Yeah. What happened? It is waiting for the parameter. Oh, yeah. Right. So, okay. Perfect. For example, here, say, okay, it's int ID equals 13. I don't know. And I'm calling here um, an ID, and I'm returning person. Person, let me change it, the name. Person expected. Okay. Uh, so in the this person, person expected. So I'm calling get all bar ID. Okay, and I'm sending the ID. Okay, so I'm returning this. That's okay. Um, it's only for ID. Okay, and I'm returning this, and I don't need it. This is the value as a person, for example. Okay. Is not apply here. And I say, okay, re response, for example. Now let me show you what happens here. Um, here I say, okay, the person ID must be equal to the same ID here. Okay. Um, here get by ID, I think. And here it's, it is any, I don't know. It's an integer, I don't know what it's calling you here. I was calling once. Get, get by ID, I think. Okay, by ID. Okay. So, but what happened in this case, for example, the default, you know, that's assigned random, random value, okay? or not. 
So let me check. Oh, I don't assign it, nothing here. Okay. So in this case, that's suppose if I receive something here, int ID, for example, could be uh, zero. Okay. So in this case, I can't to do something like this with ID. Okay. If I don't send any parameter by default or assign it zero. If not, that's what's assigned internally. And you can see, just only Tom doesn't break the previous um, version here. So in this case, if don't, if don't assign it here, I'm expecting that here, the default value is zero, okay? If not, I'm receiving here the same ID as expected. So when I call it here, okay, here I'm generating a new, and this is the ID, okay? This is for John, Doe, M, and everything related with this. And I, when I call it, okay, I'm returning, that was okay, that was the value, that was the response, and this was the equal thing that I'm calling here. And voila. You see? You know what this means? So it's pretty simple to use this kind of uh, operation. And the only thing that I had to do was change a new parameter here and everything is working fine. This is the really important thing to use this kind of patterns, builders or, or, or mother. And if in this case, we are mixing two patterns. Internally, uh, we are using builder and outside we are using mother, okay? And other thing that we can do here, for example, in this case, we can say, okay, something that we want to, uh wants to um, to do for example for uh this this is the update this is the update operation okay so in this case for example i have to add the id okay and i'm passing this internally with the same id how do you think that we have to call it here? The only thing that we, that we need to do is generate the same class using the default and passing the body, and that's it. But to be sure that using this, okay? So for example, in this case, I know that for post, since for post, I, I know that the, the principal things here is that uh, there are one restriction, for example, in this case, okay? For example, in this case, the default values is generated, okay? But if I use, if I use uh, fixture data, I don't, I don't really need to validate the, the data here. But when I want to send data here, okay, I need to uh, generate uh, a specific information that must be um, validated. So for the pause, for example, in this case, when I, when I say is the same thing like this, okay, and I'm testing here, uh, in this case, I want to test <clears throat> the method post. So here I have to say, okay, I'm testing post. Okay. Here it doesn't matter because the ID must be zero to add it. Okay. So I don't need it sent here. Um, here I can to uh, internally I using uh, add the sync 
Okay. Okay. So dot uh, at the sink. Um, I'm sending person inspected. Okay. But what happened here? I'm inspected the same value, the same value, but with the with the new ID. You see? So in this case, for example, I want to use uh let me show you this. I really need this as expected. This is a as as expected value. This is the real expected information. Um, for the other side, <coughs> I want to create a new one. Person, for example, request. Okay, but the request is the same, but without value. Okay, so when I come here and send in this person request that internally doesn't use the ID or the ID must be zero, I'm here is the same, but with the field ID. I'm here, I'm sending dot past. Okay, I'm here, I'm sending person request okay so here um there is the response and this is the response um here must be for example assert assert the uh that response is equal to but here is person request person request okay because i'm expecting this The person requests, oh, sorry, it's person expected. Something like this. This is person expected, you know? And the other thing is the response ID must be equal to person expected. Dot ID. That's the thing that I am expecting um, for this thing. It's calling. Uh, add a sync. Sorry, this, it is. It's calling add a sync. I'm here. Is any? I don't know. This is a person. Okay. Uh, sorry. Let me see. What is this? Uh, yeah. Oh, here. Oh no. Yeah. It's a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, it's I think. Okay. So in this case, as you see, I'm using the modern pattern <coughs> to pretty simple do a suspected values. You see? So let me see what happened. When I do this, okay, does the person expect it? Are you seeing uh, the oh, what? I suppose what I have to do here is not zero because I'm passing the ID. On the person request, zero also. Something is weird here. Let me check what I'm doing wrong here. Okay. 
Okay. Let me run again. Okay. Come here. I'm passing the ID. Okay. Uh, when these things happen. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, I know what happened. I know what happened. Because I'm using the same. Okay, yeah. I have this implementation is run for the mother because I'm using the same builder here. You know, that's the thing. So if we want to in the, uh, try to isolate it, that's maybe could be a good idea. Use it the same way that we did it before. That means to do this. And not using internally, using here. Okay. Because it's a new one. It's a new instance for new one. And this is a new instance for this one. You follow me? What's happened? Because I'm using the same instance twice. Yes. So when this is oh, overriding right. the values. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in this case, this is part of the process for testing. Let's see if you do it. So, okay, perfect. Now here, 13 as ID. Um, for the next one, zero for this ID. Okay, so here I'm sending with zero. And I'm expecting 13 in the return it. I'm calling here, say, okay, perfect. This was okay, that's okay, this response. The response is, do you see, is, is totally equal. Version, expected, as expected, expected. I'm here, this is ID 13, and this is ID 13 also. And voila, it's working fine. And as, as it is at the same thing that you can use it. And you can see this is pretty simple to generate new kinds of um, testers, or even if you want to uh, add in, for example, this uh, thing here, or using the same for, for delete. You see, that's this is pretty simple uh, uh, that you want to, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, excuse me, uh, that kind of, of operation. Um, yeah, uh, we can complete the other, but that's um, normal callings that you can do here. This is pretty simple to, to use it. Um, yeah, question guys? Nothing? Question, everything was clear. Great. So do you think that these things of pattern are um, um, uh, an improvement for this kind of tests? Or what do you think about this? That's useful? Of course it is because the first time you're gonna you're gonna save time in, uh, when you're creating the objects, and the other thing is that you're going to create random objects so you can make the test according to what you need. Yep, that's it. It is. That's the the thing that is is pretty simple for now. That's that's kind of entity is as you can see, it's a simple entity. But what happens if you have uh, more fields or do you have a specific logic for that kind of fields? So the idea with this is you can use it internally and uh, you can um, working with that kind of builders to generate. Um, and yep, that's all that I have for right now. We only have one more session for tomorrow. So the idea is we can see uh, mappers and compares. Uh, so the idea with this is that you can um, mapping that kind of information from one object to another object. 
and internally, as I mentioned before, right now, we are only validating, for example, this. You see? So the idea is that if we want to be uh, totally sure that one object is, is identical to the other object, at the moment, I can use it this because as are simple objects. But what happens if internally I have more objects or more classes internally? So the idea is I have to, to do something like this, just only not for, for the ID, okay? I want to do, for example, for ID, for first name, last name, or something like that. So tomorrow, we want to see something similar like this. If I want to, sh to compare something like this is a first, okay, I want to say the first name here with the, the first name here, uh, also the last name, okay? So what happened with this? So uh, tomorrow, the next session, sorry, we are gonna see how that kind of comparisons we can uh, to use it, okay? Any other questions? No. No? Okay, that's all for today, guys. Thanks a lot for joining us today. And um, yeah, we're gonna see you in the next time. Thank you, Julio. Thank you, Julio. Okay. Thank you, Julio. See ya, see ya, bye-bye. See you, bye. Bye-bye.